Hello there, it is I, Ariman the Exile, and today I am casting you another video with Chaos Marines. I believe those color skins are the Black Legion, you know the Black Legion. <laughs> the Abaddon is uh, a greatest leader, you know the Abaddon, that fella. Uh, we we are playing on conquered lands against uh, tyranids. Tyranids are like uh, just there, and uh, what is this? Oh, look at this beast on the screen. Yeah, I believe this beast on the screen is not available at the game, but completely th those guys are like the heretics, and that. That is some demon engine, I believe. I don't know what which demon engine is that, but it is a demon engine. Th this is a pretty nice picture, and we can see the goddess of, of life and death, something like that in the background from the craft world. Uh, th this is a nice opening picture. Uh, let's let's give it a go and see what is going on here. All right, now let's. Let's uh, first of all let's take uh, uh, one beautiful picture at this moment. Okay, back into the video. Uh, we have paused the game. Let's unpause it real quick. There we go. Uh, Stronghold. This created ca Stronghold Castle, whatever. All right, building a Chaos Temple and the Plasma Generator. Good, good start, good start. Uh, from Tyranids, we got uh, a Brute Hive, Jin Stealers, and a Brute Lord. Good start. No, no, like. <laughs> that's a very good start. Th this is one beautiful map. It has one to three critical locations. Uh, it even has a slight deposit uh, that's so refreshing, actually. You love to see it. Alright. Uh, what is this beautiful map actually? I love this map. I never saw this map like for 1v1, but I decided to play in on, on it and I do not regret it at any, any time. This is how the instillers sound when they capture the points, but we don't wanna like uh, chaos are strong. All right, let's let's go for cultists. What is your wish? We are chaos. Chaos are strong. <laughs> I like to hear. We we used to play like down the floor before, and when I remember my old friend of mine, uh, uh, he he used to say, "We are chaos and chaos are strong." Oh, like I I was screaming because he. 100% like uh, capture the voice of the of the cultists <laughs> and he's doing like that funny meme you know with it like yeah, 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 something. yeah yeah he he was he was always doing that voice actually from the cultists uh, it was so hilarious at the time now let's see here what is going on raptors uh, capturing this uh, point Karmagants are trying to capture this point here. Cultists are capturing fast. Farverius Charon has been produced. He is the commander of all Alpha Legion in Korra, but we will call him Chaos Lord because he belongs to the Black Legion. Uh, skirmish now, so he is not even there. This is one. This is one natural chaos lord. Look at his beautiful face. He's ready to lead his fallen brethren against this Xenus built. Tyranids are one, one of the biggest threats in the galaxy uh, right now, and he know that. He absolutely know that. That is why he is there to, to do some something. All right, uh, what is going on? Another? No, this is a Thermogans attacking Raptors. Brood Lord saw them also capturing the near point of the Tyranid side. 
high mind is controlling these tyrannies to attack the raptors, but the raptors are smart, you know, like they don't play unwise, they, they can always use that jump ability. Now even the Chaos Lord is like, the fuck is this shit? Alright, he's running away from the from the army of Tyranids. Because Tyranids can be pretty scary when they swarm you. You never allow Tyranids to swarm your enemies. Or you. That's gonna be disaster. They can like do just bam 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 and you, you die. You, you cannot like defeat them. Like There are many and you are... Your armies are few. Now G stealers. G stealers. They steal your genes, it seems. <laughs> Alright. You can call them like G stealers or G stealers. <laughs> Man, how I hate these insects. <laughs> I'm joking, actually, I'm joking. I, I love them. I love to crush them actually, I do not play with uh, these bugs, I used to, there was a time when I used to play in Ultimate Apocalypse with them, uh, you know about that mod, I, we will probably do in future uh, the, 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 the Ultimate Apocalypse against Insane AI, this right now is Insane AI with the best tactics, I kinda need to say that, now this Thermodon's got the Wower upgrade, but it is lesser effective as it should be on the Warriors. <coughs> now cultists are dying left and right. Whole squad is wiped out. And we can see some dead raptors on the field. Those raptors has hit the floor. Now only three raptors left. Going for the fourth, all right. Now four raptors going for the fifth, and the Gs stealers are chasing this Chaos Lord. Poor Chaos Lord had to retreat. He have lost a lot of HP. Chaos Marines on the field, looking pretty black and dark. It seems all right. <laughs> Chaotic. Now cultists got that vision upgrade, the all seeing eyes, the chaos gods give them. Machine pit has been produced by the chaos, only two generators. Uh, what about the tyranids? Tyranids have managed to go to the tier 2, alright, that's something. Raptors. In common in gene stealers. G stealers dead. Alright. What else can Raptors kill here? Some Parmogans. Yes, I believe they will kill some Parmogans. What is this? The schools. Chaos Lord has been attached to the Chaos Space Marines now. Shooting, dealing some damage to the Pyranids. Raptors chasing out those poor creatures. Chaos Armory has not been produced by the Chaos, it seems. <coughs> Broodlord <coughs> is there. Dead from the above, they are screaming right now. Tear those eyes out. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Only three Thermogons are alive. That means a lot of a lot of dead bodies uh, of the Tyranids insects are here, and we can see a couple of cultists dead. You favor us. With your attention. All right, Chaos Lord's got it. He's got it now. He's screaming, "Forces of Chaos, fill me with your power!" He's just boosting his ego right now, but uh, Tyranids are capturing the middle critical location and what is going on here? Heretic is, is building some heavy bolted turret for the Dark Gods, it seems. Another Chaos Marine squad incoming. 
still didn't manage to go for the armory. What is going on here? Okay, thermo generator going up. <coughs> Death from above. Raptors screaming, defending the position from the Tyranids. Karmagons almost wiped out. Now Broodlord is retreating, he has that infiltration, research upgraded. Are they gonna live, let him to be alive, who knows. No, Broodlord is now losing a lot of HP, he's going to die. Look at this, one Giz Stiller has tr survived, truly magnificent. Now... Look at this, Thermogons are capturing critical location in the middle. The true power oh my god, the here. true power is here. Is that a Chaos Sorcerer? Yes, it is. Chaos Armory, finally up. Okay. <coughs> now that means the researchers can be added to this spot. Pult is going for the plasma guns now. And champion, aspirin champion. They have managed to take some helmets of the ultramarines on their back. Chaos Raptors now got flames on, flamers on and going for a raptor aspirin champion now. Look at his zergs. <coughs> they have lost a lot of HP, one of them even died. Oh my god, look at this ugly creature. Holy Lord of Terra! A couple of heavy bolters added to the Chaos Marine squad. Shooting at warriors. Warriors going for, for the upgrades, the lower upgrades. But still, they die. The lower is very effective against infantry and heavy infantry. Let me remind you of that. What is this? Brood Bomb. A Xenotype Brood Bomb. We got a couple of stuff produced. Now gargoyles are flying, observing the situations from above. But you know who is also in, in the air? This, this fellas. Raptors with flamers. Thermogons dying really fast from that firepower of the Chaos Patriots. Do you hear the voice? Do you hear the voice? What is this? Only two raptors alive now. They need to retreat. They have lost the morale. Pultists. Look at these Reapers for a little bit. Reapers. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Tyranids know how to swarm you, you know? Like, uh, alright, you can see. Complete. Internet swarm is deleted. The filler, first vehicle from the chaos. Okay, what is going on here? Uh, going for the power green research and for the sacrifice circle. Thermoplasma generator has been done. Uh, heavy bolter is upgraded with missiles. Shooting at gargoyles. Shoot everything it moves. Chaos Marines are screaming now. Guide me wisely. What is this? We have a Chaos Lord and Chaos Sorcerer attached to these units. Oh, oh. that's some great firepower from the from the Chaos Marines. They do not care. In the armory, we got plasma pistol going and uh, purge the weak. <laughs> Increases the health of Aspirin champions, except the cultist ones. Uh, blows fear aura, aura in aspirin champions, which improves the health of all squad members. That's interesting stuff. The plasma pistol. Mm, Tyran is with 89% uh, of the blow going. Now Raptors decapping, decapping uh, this strategic point. Scary locking creatures from the Xenus Tyranids. Those bugs 
are like pretty scary if you know what to do with them. Alright. What's going on here? Symbol of Chaos Research. Benefits for the Chaos Sorcerer and Chaos Lord. It increases the damage bonuses for your infantry. But look at his damage. Do we really need more damage? No, we don't actually. Chaos Marines are already strong without those without those researches, but the researches makes them even more strong. Stronger. Alright, going now for the cultist infiltration skill. Power sword and armor of Alpheus. Now Chaos Dreadnought going in. Yeah, in unification mode you got Chaos Dreadnought, which is another cool thing. You don't have that in vanilla. That's a little bit different between vanilla and Locus. Like the models are kind of change, you know. Not only that, like, oh, what, what is this carnifex? Now the demon unit is arrived. Most of the tyrannids are like demons and infantry and uh, monsters. So you don't want to like face them if you are not prepared. What was that? I heard. I heard torn berserkers going, going to like do some damage against the tyrannids now. Armory is producing more war gears for our heroes <coughs> and chains of, of torment research going on. Jetpack boosters going up for tier 3. Everything is going according to the plan. Then it's dying left and right. Carnifex is dead. Is Carnifex gonna die? Probably. Yes, alright. That's from above. Raptors screaming. Flying with those jetpacks. Now they can even go faster. Six minutes until control. From the pyramids. You can see the kill flex. Carnifex stuck between the buildings. <laughs> he cannot even move. We hold him down. Now. The Fornet Marines have managed to like demolish a couple of the buildings now. There it is, the Melta up multi melta upgrade for the dreadnought. You can also go for the plasma cannon, chain fist, twin last cannon, twin reaper out of cannon. And of course multi melta. Now he got the multi multa very effective in the building. Tyranids are completely shocked. Sanity this cultist has weak. managed to capture three critical we locations. Was Zas Marine Squad on the field? Very nice. Four minutes until taken whole victory. Going for the squad cap. Hell Talon. And even a demo demonic pit is online, going for the obliterator squad. They will be soon casted upon this Zenos. He lives to serve warriors. Two spots of warriors now only left for the Tyranids and a Carnifex. Possessed Marines with Hornet Marines and a lot of firepower. Now they even got some grenades. Warrior squad of the Tyranids completely wiped out. Putis with plasmas are actually really nice for this. Dayton all specs. <coughs> Obliterators who are made for the range are now in melee. They are not that strong in, in uh, melee, but they can do some damage in the, with shooting. They got the best firepower. Look at this. They have the best choice for the 
okay. Uh, like, you do not deny this, fellas. All right, going for the personal te teleporters, even going for the demonic fire for the possessed marines, and infiltration skill for the chaos marines, and of course some power fists. That's interesting. Tyranids lost it completely. Carnifex is uh, like heavy, heavy. Um, I believe they, they kind of, you need a uh, vehicle cap for them. Yeah, you need support cap. And there is like, they have brute cap and support cap. Support cap you need for the carnifex. Now the, the Tyranids lost everything almost. That's about it. Only like two minutes uh, left to, to control area victory. But who would like control area victory? Because you can like just destroy it. That's about it. From the Tyranids. You have been annihilated. We have annihilated the Tyranids. We didn't even manage to get to the to the taken hold victory. But why would we? We we have all of this. Why would we get there? All right. Yeah, at it least infiltration ability was done. <laughs> and those tyrannies didn't stand a chance against the, this might of chaos. Even going for the tier five. Damn, that's a disaster for them. And we have managed to capture even a relic, even a critical. They could have go for the Titan. And Titan is the thing. Alright, th this was a long uh, long game actually. Indeed. Let's see the results at the end. Yeah, we have managed to have better military skills. We lost not that much. We lost only 53. They lost 204. Yeah, I mean, Tyranids. <laughs> we have demolished 25 buildings. Lost zero, completely none building. They had better army size, of course they would have, because they are Tyranids, they, they like to swarm you. Uh, better requisition, like almost double. <laughs> power, of course, like we had power, they didn't have power, they don't use power. And technology, we got all of that better, so that means overall we, we managed to completely destroy them from the existence. Alright, I hope you liked this episode, and uh, if you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.